Okay, uh, here we have um, a bunch of DS18B20 temperature sensors. They look like transistors, but they're, they're temperature sensors. Very good temperature sensors. Handy for small projects. These I bought on Banggood. Um, they're from China. They are, I assume from China. Uh, uh, they are 10 for eight pound, which isn't bad. Uh, but when I was wiring them up, um, I wasn't really sure how accurate they were being uh, from Banggood. No offense, Banggood, but it's the, it was the cost actually. Okay, so. Because I don't like to just kind of guess at things, I didn't want to just use them and not trust them. So I went to the trouble and expense of getting from RS Components, a reputable UK electronics supplier, a DS18B20 Plus, it says, made in the Philippines. Nice proper um, ESD protection bag, unlike these, which are just probably generating lots of static. Uh, okay, so, and here they are. Connected to my trusty ESP8266. The sensors are on this little daughter board, uh, a little remote breadboard as well as a couple on the um, the main breadboard. The reason for that is I just fancy them uh, moving some a bit further away because these sensors can be very sensitive to to local temperature generated by for example resistors heating up or burps at the board or something else. So here I have three of the Banggood sensors and one of the Ooh, definitely 100% genuine Dallas semiconductor with lots of nice packaging. Uh, oh, this was £3.90, by the way. Now, I think it said postage and packing was free, but they sent it by a 24-hour signed for delivery. Um, so there's some cost involved in that, but yeah, the, the overall cost to me for a single one was uh, £3.90. I didn't want to buy more than that because I just wanted to check. Um, I've, I've already got 10 of these, so I don't, I don't need any more. So here they are, they're connected up to the one-wire bus. The uh, good thing about the one-wire bus is you can chain devices. They have unique ROM IDs, so you can actually address them separately. Um, it's, it's a nice technology. And it, you can do quite long cable runs. This is just me just set playing around with it, but you can have these cables very long. So, what was the result? Well, they all work fine. Uh, unless, you, unless you connect them uh, incorrectly, which um, you'll find out they generate 100 degrees centigrade. <laughs> so if you're seeing very high temperatures, you've got them the wrong way around, which is easy to do, judging by other people on the internet. Um, so what sparked this is, I, I was just reading a forum where they were talking about fake uh, DS18B20s and the price difference is so great um, that it makes you wonder and apparently according to that thread it costs at least a couple of pounds from Maxim uh, for the official Dallas semiconductor one, I, I don't know um, I don't know how old that forum thread was either so but empirically they were great so, uh, yeah, fill your boots. Okay, let's have a look at the um, output. Here we have a couple of runs. The top, uh, ignore the top few. The bottom four are each of the sensors. The Banggood ones have a similar ROM ID starting with 28FF. Uh, and the other one doesn't. They all have very similar temperatures, which is good. And that's, that's why I'm happy with them, really. Okay, let's look under the microscope. I think this is 16 zoom. Let's see if we can tell any difference physically. Um, nothing much to see apart from the 
mutilated legs. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't very gentle with these. And on the back, um, it looks a bit rough. I don't, I don't know if that means anything. It looks a bit rough. Let's keep going. They all look the same. Oh, this one's got a P. This one's got a PP. -P. Interesting. So that's already different. Um, interestingly, the picture on Banggood does have the P on it, but the ones they sent me do not have a P. So if we're talking about whether it's genuine or not, uh, maybe they're using a picture of a genuine one and not selling genuine ones, which is naughty. Flip to the other side. Okay, you can see the lettering. It's not easy to read. I'm not sure if it's my microscope lighting. Let me try tinkering with this a bit. It's not reflecting very well or possibly reflecting too much. Let me focus this. Oh, when you focus it exactly on the surface, the surface looks very rough. Oh, that one doesn't. Oh, it's shiny. Rough, almost like stone at this magnification. It's actually easier to read the letter lettering when you're not zoomed in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Look how sharp that is. It's actually so sharp because these are etched in. These are actually, I assume, laser etched or something. Um, a beautiful kind of uh, definition there. And adding extra light to it only makes it easier to see and you can see how recessed that, that engraving is oh and then on the next one i didn't like to it actually makes it harder so i'm not sure if these are indented or engraved at all oh this first one looks a little bit engraved but maybe that's just just a trick of the the light I'm not convinced these are genuine, and everything points to them not being genuine. They work fine. Is the quality as good as the uh, the Dallas original ones? Probably not, but how can we tell? The measurements we get are good. So what does that leave? Maybe life, Saban? Maybe those packages are made from lower quality plastic. They, they look like it. Um, Maybe they won't last as long. So if you're going to make something you wanted to last well, or you were making for somebody else, you would probably want to use maybe one of the good quality ones. Um, but for tinkering and playing around, yeah, these cheap ones are great. That's me. Cheers.